Okay, let's continue with the sort of things that make us go wow. Um, hardly ever is a riff as simple as this one. Uh, nearly always the uh, architects uh, will come up with all sorts of creative ideas on how to, to um, to make the, the roof uh, interesting. Um, one of the um, nice things we have here is a uh, when we do double story roofs or double story, three stories, ten stories. Um, so let's say I'm going to, I'll just do this freehand. Let's say we have a, a, another roof that sort of hangs around over there, over there, across there and down here and up there and, and close square. And this time it's going to be the second story. The pitch is the same, but the eave height's now 26 feet. Same overhangs, that all work. And we hit OK, and we hit Continue, and it builds the roof. Oh. So, we look at that from the front. And you can see we've got an up roof and a down roof. But we also have a whole bunch of stuff in the middle there that's not going to be there once we build the second story. Well, then we go into the Modify Roof function, cut out, Auto track the cutout, so I'm going to track around the perimeter of the second story wall. And I'm going to tell it to select the story to cut out. So we have a first story and a second story. So I hit OK. Oh, and we're going to delete all the internal pieces. There is an option to keep the internal pieces, but I'll deal with that later on. So, auto track, select the story. OK. Select the wall line of the second story, and it says, oh, okay, there we go, got a closed loop, and we're going to cut out the first story, we hit OK, and it's cut out, bam, done. And look what we've got there, all the things that you need that correctly define this uh, second story and first story that interact, and even better, when I you know, check all the line types, you'll notice that it is has automatically assigned all the correct line types, side wall, end wall, and what have you. So, double story roofs, no problems. 